Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well. In today's video I am of course doing a Tattoo Enthusiast Reacts to Tattoo TikToks. This is my absolute favourite series to film, this is your favourite series to watch. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. I've been concentrating so much on Tattoo Gay and all of that. I haven't done my regular tattoo content that I would do at least once a week. I would do some kind of tattoo enthusiast reacts to tattoo TikToks or oh, something like that. I have just been consumed with other things. How rude of me. <laughs> anyway, I hope you are all sitting comfy and cozy. Do you have your blankets? Do you have your snacks and your beverages? Do you have your pets to hug? Okay, are we ready? Yes? Great. Oh, you have to be kidding me. This won't be real. 100% if this is real, I will eat a shoe. We're not even gonna colour match this person's hair because their hair is not black. It's like a very dark brown, so it's already a fail. This has to be fake. It's definitely fake. It's got to be fake. I don't see any irritation. I think it's pen. It's gotta be eyeliner, surely. I refuse. I refuse to believe that's real. There is just no way. There is no way. Absolutely not. Okay, you're not getting me with this one, TikTok. But could you imagine if it was real though? Because there has been incidents like that. <laughs> Hair tattooing technology has come such a long way in many years. You know, there's people out there that will get um, very fine dots on their like scalp or whatever to make it look like their hair's thicker or their hair isn't thinning out or you know some people just get the bits that are balding you know stippled in or what have you and it looks freaking amazing it looks really real but there has been times where hair tattoos have been horrific and they have been real <laughs> so i wouldn't put it past anyone but Something tells me this has to, it just has to be fake. Like the wipe away was far too gentle for me. There was no like gooeyness within the tattoo, no irritation. It's fake. I'm debunking it. <laughs> Late Valentine's Day gift for my man in prison. Are you joking me? Nah, that's, that's eyeliner. Why are we with, what's with the fakeness? Hang on, let me just look on their profile. Yeah, that was 100% fake. I do not see it on their face anymore. That was quite an old TikTok. It was from the 27th of February. <laughs> That's how delayed I am right now. See how an all blue, no black outline hand tattoo looks a year apart. Okay, I'm very intrigued to see what this looks like healed after a year, but a year isn't enough time in my opinion. You know, a year in comparison to 50 years is nothing. Okay, so is this, this must be it when it's fr freshly done. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad. It's actually gorgeous. That's really nice. I really like it. That's the most common tattoo in the world. Rose. Cross. No, that's what I thought it was. Is it an angel? No. Is it initials? No. What do people have? Is it a bird? No. Or a lion? It's a type of animal. Lion? A lion. No. Oh. A tiger. It's a bug. Oh. A ladybug. No. Moth. Tarantula. No. Butterfly? This is my, me reenacting what they do. Is that a bee? No. A fly? It's a type of fly. There's a fly at the end of the word. Oh, a fly. horse fly. <laughs> yes! It's a horse fly, Zach. That's the most common Stop tattoo it. in the Tell world. Stop it. Tell me what it it's is. A horse Tell, fly. No. It's a butterfly. Oh. The other most common ones are roses and dragon tattoos. Okay. Well, I'm glad my first initial thought, which was a rose, is another common one. But butterfly? Yeah, I guess. Let me know if you have a butterfly tattoo. Right. Come with me to get my hands tattooed or die. I don't know. So I got fuel, Chick fil A breakfast. So yummy. I didn't get the mini, so don't come for me. Okay, so this guy popped up on my Instagram ads and he literally does this one style of lettering I've been looking for for someone to do on my hands for years. So I'm immediately messaged him. He's coming through Vegas, whatever the fuck. So he's like, yeah, I need a $200 deposit that's pretty steep for I've been getting tattooed for 10 years that's pretty steep so I was like okay I need to fucking know that you're real I just saw you on an ad he goes <laughs> I take my job seriously I'm a professional this this and this and started to get sassy so I'm like okay you're already turning me off bitch you're already turning me off so we message or whatever he's like yeah I'm doing it out of a private studio and I was like okay well I need the address I fucking need to know that you're real or this is real and you're not just gonna take my money and run okay so um he's like 
I won't know. Like I'm just doing it out of a couple feet, out of a couple places. I just don't know what I'm gonna be till day of. And I'm like, oh fucking hell, my y'all are giving me trouble. You gotta give me attitude. And then you can't tell oh, me where you are. So long story short, I ended up giving him the money, and I'm on my way now. So let's see if we die. I'm pretty sure it's out of a house, and this is great. This is great. I get all of my tattoos. Like <sighs> we'll see. Wish me luck. He said to bring water and Gatorade. So I stopped and I got my water. It's a glass bottle. So if he tries to kill me, I'm just gonna smash him on the head. Guys, I didn't die. And these are my hands. It says Taco Bell. Shut <laughs> up. So naturally afterwards, I had to get a Baja Blast. And I got a quesadilla too, cause I was a little hanky. Shut but up. But anyway, it wasn't a scam. Well, kinda. Um, it was 200 an hour. I was there for oh six gosh. and a half hours. Please do that math. Please do that math for me. Um, didn't I tell you guys I just quit my job? So whatever. He ended up being really cool. Um, he had a ring camera that was like facing us the whole entire time. It was just me and him. It was like, it was like a house, like a rented out house. Um, but it was, he made me really comfortable. Like I said, there was a camera watching us like 24 seven, like our moves or whatever. So I, it made me really comfortable. Um, and we're going to hang out. Um, I'm gonna touch up and get dressed, get changed out of these nasty ass tattoo clothes. I am in so much pain right now. Um, I have my palm tattooed. This is level two. Like this is level, like this is one. This is number two. Number three was my tummy. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll update you guys. Um, I hope you have a good day. See you later. Bye. Okay, I will say the lettering is freaking gorgeous. I love that style of tattoo so much. It's so dark and gothic-y and edgy. And the fact that it says Taco Bell is hilarious to me, but the design makes it look so freaking cool. <laughs> I mean, I love a Taco Bell, let me tell you. I will die for a taco and the churros, oh. But I don't know if I'd be that dedicated to Taco Bell to get it tattooed on my fingers, but hey. If you love something that much, why not, right? But I had red flags from the beginning there. $200 deposit, while they said that that's pretty steep for what they're used to, seems okay to me. But the tattooing out of a random house, them not knowing where they're going to be tattooing, I personally would have got red flags straight away. And I'd be like, you know what? Never mind. I'd rather know that this artist is going to be in a studio. Or they're very open and honest about where they're tattooing from the start. Because if I was in this situation, I booked a tattoo, I go to a place and it ends up being a house, like a rented Airbnb. What do you do in that situation? Like, do you just go in and be like, you know what, this isn't for me, and then you lose your $200. I'd rather someone be open, honest with me from the start. But hey, they got the result they wanted. It looks great. Holy cow. This is freaking am Are you serious with this? I just love the whole like cobra snake mechanical situation going on here. Screw the black one. I love the design. Oh, that is freaking gorgeous. Just look at that. I'm obsessed. I have pure back piece envy right now. <laughs> one of my favorite parts of getting tattooed is when your artist finishes your piece and then the other artists in the shop demand to see it and you have to parade around to all their different stations <laughs> to show them your piece. They're like, let me see that. And you're like, you try and hold it up so they can see it while they're working. And they're like, yeah, that's, that's tough. I'm like, it is fucking tough. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't do it, but I paid for it, so it's mine. <laughs> it's so true, though. I have been in that situation so many times. Let me know if you have as well. But I also don't know what to say in that situation because I didn't do the tattoo. I just sat there and, like they just said, and I, and I paid for it. That's it, you know. Other than that, I didn't really have much say into how good it's going to be. <laughs> Removing second skin to clean my tattoo. Are you kidding me right now? I beg you don't do this. I mean, you should know better, my love. It's pretty cool. It's very dark, but I kind of like whatever's going on here. I just like darkness within tattoos, but you would never catch me doing that. Like taking off second skin in the shower properly 
still sucks, okay? But to just rip it off like that, like a wax strip, are you kidding me? How are you not dying? I would be like, Ugh. like I would fold. I would be on the floor. I'd be crying. I'd be sobbing. I would be requesting chicken nuggets to be fed in my mouth for like six days straight because I just can't do anything. I need to recover. I'm weak. I'm feeble. I have just been through something so traumatic. <laughs> and then there's this person being like, like it's nothing. What the frick? Oh my days. There is just no way. Just no, just. Ugh. Honestly, some people just need therapy. Three eyes, one leg, two days. Oh my gosh. Yes. Give it to me. I want to see this. Show me it. That's just not going to be fun for anybody. You know, like, for the client, it's going to be hella painful, but for the artist trying to, you know, work around everyone, it's, like, it's a lot. Wow, okay, there's a filter on this. Like, let's be serious. It still looks freaking amazing, though. It does look amazing, but there's a lot of editing going on here. But I, I still believe that the tattoo would look great without the editing. It always, it just hurts my soul when there's a grand reveal and there's so much colour grading done within the end result. It's just like, can we just see what it looks like without any smoke and mirrors, you know? Like, what you're trying to hide. It's probably still a good tattoo, though. This is a PSA. A PSA to all the girlies out there that want to go get tattoos. PSA, be careful. Because I got all my ink work done by the exact same person, relatively speaking. She did the majority of the work, right? Beautiful artist, 10 out of 10 work. But then I went after she moved to a different studio to get this piece done. Notice that? That's a little scar. Why, you might ask? She poisoned me. So basically what happened was she moved to a studio and she started buying really, really cheap ink because the studio she was at before provided the ink. So I didn't do any research into the ink that she used because I'm dumb and I assumed that it would be safe because she did all my other work. Needless to say, she injected me with something called Microbacterium abscesses, which is essentially a microbacterium that forms in unsterile water. So the ink that she used was non-sterile ink, meaning that it was mixed with non-sterile water in the factory. Don't know why it got let out, don't know why it was produced, don't know, don't care. Anyways, so she tattooed me with that ink and I noticed my tattoo was so sensitive, but I used numbing cream. So I was like, oh, the numbing cream, it's just the numbing cream, it's the first time I ever used numbing cream, that's it. No, 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 a month and a bit later, it's still red, still inflamed, still so sore. So I go and I get the matching tattoo on the other side. And she notices the sores and everything, she's like, just an allergic reaction. And then I go to my doctor. No, <clears throat> doctor's like, it's microbacterium, absolutely 100% we need to get you checked out immediately. So I was like, okay, cool. So I go and I get a dermatologist. I have two different doctors that I have to go see. I'm potentially going to be on antibiotics for six months. And that's depending upon if the microbacterium begins to build antibodies, because that's what it does. I had some strain called microbacterium abscesses, which is a form of, uh, I think, leprosy, microbacterium leprous. Anyway, so I had a form of leprosy literally injected in my body and I messaged her and I'm like, oh, do you have liability? And she's like, blah, 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 blah. talk to my dermatologist. It's your fault. My doctor was like, there's no way this is your fault. This is inside of your tissue. This is tissue deep. This is not like a simple on the surface, your inability to clean your tattoo. No, I have over 30 tattoos. You really think I don't know how to clean my tattoos? <laughs> Anyways, so just make sure when you go to a studio that you actually do your research, you find out what type of ink that they're using or else you could end up with microbacterial abscesses injected into your tissue. I ended up healing it on my own, so I didn't have to do anything, so like, whatever, but like, still, it's really frustrating because I thought I could trust her, and then I couldn't, so now I'm scared to get tattoos, and I had so many plans for so many tattoos that I wanted to get on my body! Anyways, <clears throat> that's all. Um, yeah, keep an eye out and pay attention to your artists and the ink they use. Thank you! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The fact that the artist took absolutely no accountability whatsoever terrifies me to no end. Are you kidding me with this? Like, you could have potentially, like, I don't know, killed this person because of your negligence. And you're like, eh, it's your fault. Go to a dermatologist. You didn't heal the tattoo properly. They clearly know how to look after a tattoo. They have had many. And while, you know, some people that have had 
tattoos for years and years and years sometimes do end up with an infection for whatever reason it's less likely the more you have been tattooed you know how to look after it and all of that but again you know sometimes it does happen are you kidding me with this like that is terrifying and it could happen to absolutely any one of us the fact like this scares me the most the fact that this person had been to this artist a lot of times okay so you kind of feel like you're safe with an artist you know you have one tattoo from artist all goes well okay so you think the next tattoo is gonna go well and the tattoo after that and the tattoo after that. like you end up building a trust you you don't exactly need to research the artist anymore you know you've already had an experience with this artist so for it to flip like that it's terrifying oh and i personally have never ever asked a tattoo artist what ink they're using you know it's never even crossed my mind i'll flag up some tattoo inks that i'm familiar with because the majority of the tattoo artists i've been to i always recognize these bottles so i always think oh well that's fine you know like i've seen these bottles before i know they're not from like amazon or whatever you know like the dodgy inks but oh tattoo artists should not be skimping out on tattoo ink there's just some things you should not be buying cheap okay and tattoo ink is one of them it's a tattooing red flag for you like when you see it you're like run away i got all day people who tattoo their faces but not their body people whose first tattoos are the face hands or neck people whose first blackout piece isn't a cover-up they have this piece avoid them if it's a girl with beautiful disaster if it's a dude with established then his birth year Girls with cherry tattoos. Eyes with tattoos of lions. People with a ton of patchwork. You look like a Russian prisoner. Anyone with only God will judge me. People who mention the price before the quality. People who don't tip. Mm. The honeycomb neck thing. People with more quotes than actual art. If he has Equitas or Veritas, he's probably a liar. One with a brand or logo tattoo, like a car. You look like a billboard. People with one word tattooed right here. Overly patriotic tattoos. Anyone that doesn't have at least one rose tattoo. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad I'm not a red flag because I have one rose tattoo. You know, I, I mean, I have several. Um, can't help myself, obviously. I'm addicted. So obviously this is all personal opinion and all of that, but I want to add my personal opinion on top of that. The whole black work tattoo without it being a cover-up, I have black work. I mean, it's a blast over negative space situation but the rise in black work or tattoos like this is so high you don't have to have it as a cover-up that's my personal opinion i know black work tattoos like this are normally cover-ups or blast overs but don't feel like that has to be the case because that is quite a big opinion within the tattoo community or old school tattooers you know they have that opinion of like why would you have a lot of black on a body part if you're not covering something up. It can be so beautiful. You can make black work look great. They may be talking about just like solid black work, but still, if that's the kind of aesthetic you like, then go for it. The one thing that I will 100% agree with is tattooing your hands, face and neck as a first tattoo. I know that is an old school mentality and tattoos have come a long way and they're a lot more accepted, but... It's such a drastic place to get tattooed first and it's so visible and what if you don't like it, you know? Like what if you don't like the look of being tattooed? It's on your hand, neck, face forever. You've never healed a tattoo before so you don't know what you're doing. So if you mess up with healing, not that, you know, it's complicated but what if, you know? But yeah, if you mess up with healing or the tattoo gets infected and it ends up being scarred or just looking horrible, again, it's on such a visible place. I always feel like it's best to start off with an arm or a leg or anywhere, to be honest, that isn't visible. <laughs> Somewhere there you can hide, you know, with clothing. Oh, wow. I always feel so honored when I see stuff like this. It's just like, wow, you're sharing this with all of us. It's just amazing. I don't know, I, I, I feel like anytime I see this, I always feel a little bit emotional because, you know, I'm so used to seeing, you know, regular tattoos like what I have on this series. And it just is so cool to see something different and something so meaningful i can't it just this is why i love tattoos so much because the 
such a broad spectrum of what they mean to people. You know, for me, it's art and self-expression. And for other people, it's part of their culture. And oh, it's just fascinating. Like, yeah, I don't know. You are joking me. There, no, stop it. Oh, oh, mm. kind of artsy. Kind, it's kind of cool. <laughs> I was expecting it to be pretty terrible, but that looks kind of, you know, artistic. But I obviously would not recommend anybody do that. Don't do that. It's, it's n no. So how old should you be when you get your first tattoo? Let's ask my mom. Ooh, look at you. You look adorable. Oh, yeah. Go get him, Frankie. Yeah, Frankie. <laughs> it's time. It's turning 80. Right, it's a milestone. Amazing. And I'm so happy to be oh, alive. Yeah. <laughs> That's my first and only tattoo ever. We'll see. But we'll see. <laughs> I hope I get addicted. Right. So all I have to do now is print out a stencil for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hop on, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a struggle for everyone, oh, Frankie, let me tell you. I got a lot of age spots. You're going to have to work around them. I want to be able to see it from my view. Okay. I'm thinking like the right thing. Who do you want to hear? Harry Styles, I love him. It was in One Direction. I <laughs> <laughs> now what are you doing, black line? And if you can take away some of the age spots, it's gonna be perfect. I wanna get rid of a whole bunch for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, wow. <sighs> oh, yes. You happy? I'm happy. Good. You're officially <laughs> one of us. Maniacal <laughs> 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 laughter. Thank you so much. Oh, 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 this is so precious. I am so happy for them to have their first tattoo at 80. I can't even stress to you, you are never, ever, ever, ever too old to get a tattoo. I've had people say that to me so many times of, oh, you know, if I was younger, I'd get a tattoo. Or I feel like I'm a bit too old to get tattooed now. No, there is no such thing. Please get the tattoo. There is no age limit ever okay live your life be like frankie okay <laughs> come with me to get my lips tattooed in colombia so when i took this video i realized like wait i actually really like my lips like maybe i shouldn't do this and while i was getting the numbing thing i was like okay i definitely should go home but i did not go home so first she started with this lip neutralization which was fine. I just look like a little hot Cheeto kid. <laughs> and then I tell her I just want pink and she's like, well, pink, it's gonna be too subtle, like too natural. Like you should have this bright ruby red. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. And she's like, trust me, it's gonna oh fade gosh. to pink. Trust me. <sighs> it did not. So it was also excruciatingly painful. Like I was swelling like crazy. It felt so raw and numb and I looked really bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my uh, god. Jump scare. <laughs> Honestly, if you were thinking about getting this done, just yeah. buy lipstick. It was so painful. I had to beg her to stop. Oh my gosh. And then I just looked the worst out of anyone I've ever seen get this. They were waiting for my Uber. They were like, leave us five star <laughs> review. And I was like, what? And then they literally took oh my phone no. and started putting in five star review. I'm like, I'm literally suffering. Scary. It's a bit intense, but this means that it'll actually look better. Like when you get it done, if it looks kind of like bleh, when you're delusional, <laughs> this means like later it's gonna look so good. <laughs> I was wrong. My lips did not turn into a pretty color, but I did go to the club that same night just to terrify the hose. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? Let me look on their profile and see if they've done an update. Lips tattooed in Colombia. I made a TikTok about it and the video has like they 8 million funny. views now. And <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Like the shade room is like trying to repost it. I was expecting it a lot more of a I know they're going to repost it and be like, do you know? guys think this girl is stupid? Yes or no? Like because, because the results are shocking. But that was just day one. Like obviously they went down. 
of course some people are like oh like it's gonna heal like of course she doesn't look like that tomorrow like it's like the swelling went down i'm sure blah 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 like you know common sense and some people are like she destroyed herself like she was once so beautiful they're like rip rest in peace <laughs> Kaylin. <laughs> they're so dramatic i'm like trending on twitter people just be being like dramatic about my lips and stuff i'm like they're my lips like what why are y'all being dramatic? They're like, she's so stupid. Why would she fly to Colombia to get this done? What? <laughs> I a live in Colombia right now, so I didn't fly to get it done. It cost 50 bucks. My friend went to the same studio and like had completely different results than me. Like hers actually looks really, really cute. I just got the dumbest like technician who doesn't understand color theory and the swelling. Like I just have big lips, so that's a lot of trauma on your lips to tattoo them so they swelled up it was funny i thought i posted a video whatever so like every day it looks better like every day i'm gonna look less psycho Slip. i think they look great i think they look really really nice so it definitely wasn't a terrible result like it could have been so much worse but yeah lips do swell up they're so sensitive like all you have to do is eat something spicy or bite them or whatever like they will swell up so that was completely normal. And I have always been tempted to do the whole like lip blush, lip tattoo situation, but I wear so much lipstick. But then there's days obviously where I don't wear lipstick. So I'm like, hmm, it is very, very tempting. I would just want pretty much like the color of my lipstick now, like a mauve kind of pinky color or whatever. Sammy. Firstly, I think you may have stumbled across the wrong profile for you. I've always understood why people don't like tattoos, but I've genuinely never understood having the need to tell someone something like this when it's such a personal opinion and it is just negative. So I just thought I'd take this little moment to say, be who you wanna be, dress how you wanna dress. It is really all about feeling good in yourself and just spreading a bit more positivity. So that's all. This is also the first time I've ever recorded within TikTok and um, it's weird. <laughs> I love Sammy. Like, her style is freaking incredible. She's just gorgeous. Like, oh, uh, she's such an inspiration to me. Like, her jewellery collection is one thing that I admire so much. Like, I feel really bad now that I'm not wearing any of my rings because I have been inspired by Sammy's rings for a while now. <laughs> but yeah, she's gorgeous. Her style and oh, oh. Perfection. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna react to one more for this video. So I came to Bali oh, no. to get a tattoo, right? And I've been dreaming to get this tattoo because I just don't get tattoos all the time. I get one like every few months. And it's supposed to say angel energy. And now it just says energy angel. I'm so confused. What? I'm so confused. Hang on. They got what they wanted. Am I half asleep or like, does anyone else understand what is happening here? All I could get from that is that they wanted a tattoo that says angel, but they got energy angel. What? Hang on, I'm gonna look on their profile real quick to see if there's any actual explanation. Hey guys, it's Energy Angel here. I just wanted to address the latest news articles about me. I'm not sure if you have seen the articles, but they've been reaching out to me and asking about the abuse that I've been copying online. It's a bit upsetting and disgusting to see how people have reacted to my video and it, it was just so generally upsetting. But to be honest, it's just TikTok and y'all come here to talk shit anyways. But anyways, I have the full truth. Don't believe any of the articles that have been mixing and twisting my story. I had the stencil drawn on me over three times. The first time it was huge because my arms are very skinny ever since I've lost weight. Second time, there was a huge gap in between and I did not like the gap. And it did say angel energy, the first two stencils. Oh. The third stencil, I don't know what happened. I was just like, yep, I've seen the tattoo, it's fine. The gap between it, it's fine. So I was just sitting on my phone chilling. After I got up, my partner was like, yo, it says energy angel. I see I what's happened now. I was hysterically crying me a while. <laughs> in front of everyone and everyone in the tattoo, tattoo store stopped everything and started laughing, palming their heads and talking in the foreign language. I was in shock. I was like, do I cry because they're like talking in the foreign language or my tattoo? Like, 
I was genuinely upset and they had nothing to say. They were actually trying to make me feel better. They're like, it has a different meaning to it. You're boss queen. You're this. Obviously, the meaning of it was so different compared to angel energy than energy angel. Like, it was not it. So then we went out for dinner with my partner and I was crying. I was sobbing while I was eating. Then I went back to the hotel. Luckily, the owner reached out to me and he was so nice. He's an English middle-aged man. He said, please come back tomorrow. I really want to fix it for you. Even though they tried to do the best job at fixing it and it looks like a little scribble in the middle, he tried his best. But I have a local person from Canberra who really wants to fix up my tattoo and she's done my partner's tattoos in the past. So she's going to be fixing up my tattoos in the future, in a few months I believe. And I can't wait to take you guys on that journey as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for all the love and all the support I have received. And to the people that made fun of it, made a joke out of it, thank you because honestly this tattoo has been more it's the most monumental tattoo i have on me now and forever will have a story and you guys made it a story for me to always remember so thank you so much and i hope you all stay tuned for my tattoo journey oh amazing okay so i completely understand now it was meant to say angel energy but it ended up saying energy angel and then it had to be changed to energy of an angel for it to make a bit more sense or to be better for them that's freaking exhausting and it's just a reminder that you have to check your stencils even if you've had the stencil put on a hundred times just check it every single time that it's in the right position it looks exactly how you want it i mean these things do happen you get distracted you get tired or whatever but you just got to remind yourself that this is a permanent bit of art and if it goes wrong it's with you for life unless you can get a cover up or it lays it off. But I love what they said about the fact that it now has a different meaning to them because of like what happened online because of it. I can kind of relate with my um, somewhat sacred heart tattoo that I've got just here. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I got it at a tattoo convention at one of those little booths where you just go up and tattoos are like 50 or 60 quid each. I don't actually remember. Um, but it was just like a little spur of the moment tattoo and it just looks like a turnip. And I seem to have this like turnip curse within my tattoos because I had a tattoo here before it was covered up with this um, that kind of looked like a turnip and I just can't seem to get away from these turnip looking tattoos. And it's all a bit of a meme and a joke now throughout my channel. And because of that, I, I've ended up liking this just because it's, you know, kind of funny, right? So the sacred turnip can stay. Okay, my darling. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for continuing to tag me in tattoo TikToks. I appreciate it so much. And yeah, until my next video, I hope you all stay safe and well. And yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>